is pasta made. Locals say that the town of Gragnano was designed to channel the sea air up through the streets, where traditionally they would hang out their pasta to dry in the warm wind. This place really is the home of pasta. Here in Gragnano at the Di Martino factory, the durum wheat semolina arrives regularly from the mills and goes straight into these special storage containers to keep it from getting wet or going mouldy. Up on the factory floor, this is where the pasta really starts to take shape. It all might look very automated and mechanical, but these machines are just recreating the same simple method of pasta making that Giuseppe's family have used for over a hundred years. They just make it all a bit quicker. The first step in making pasta is for the semolina to be thoroughly mixed with water. After the semolina and water have been mixing for a little while, they turn into a paste or dough. Next, this squidgy pasta dough is put through moulds. Different types of moulds will give different shapes. As the dough comes through the mould, it takes shape. At this point, it will still be soft, so it now needs to be carefully dried. They hang up the fresh pasta to help keep its shape while it's drying. Once it's dry, the pasta is ready to be wrapped and boxed. Next it's put onto a lorry and shipped to the UK by boat. One week later, it'll be ready and waiting on a supermarket shelf near you.